Well, it's the night before our flight to Guatemala City and I just got an email saying our flight has been canceled. It's gonna be an interesting travel day. We're Hayden and Erin, and we're on a mission to visit every country in the world. For the past six weeks, we've been exploring Belize, and today we're heading to our 11th country, Guatemala. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to a travel day. It's supposed to be a one day travel day heading to Guatemala, but instead we have to stay in Belize another night. <laughs> and we'll tell you about that story on our way. Let's go, we gotta go to the airport. Are you kidding me? Uh, is yeah. it raining? It's pouring. It just started, yeah. oh my God, it was so nice and sunny. I was like, oh, it's gonna be a great day to fly. And now we have to drive to the airport in a golf cart with all of our stuff. In the pouring in the rain. Pouring rain. doesn't work in the morning. It takes a little bit for it to get going. Oh. All right, we're off. Oh no, the rain. The rain started again. Shit. We have everything we own in the back here getting just like soaking wet. And we're in a golf cart, so it's not like there's doors. All right, here we go. Here. Um, I think we just have to check in and our flight leaves in about an hour. So we walked right in. They just took our bags from us. They asked us our names. Didn't check our IDs or anything like that. And they were like, okay, go upstairs to the bar, which you don't have to tell us twice to go to the bar. And we got fancy little tickets. <laughs> They're like, Look at these. <laughs> Those are our boarding passes. So yeah, we're just here for like an hour. Okay, so we've been sitting here for a couple of minutes, drinking mimosas. Here we go again on a travel day, just drinking first thing in the morning without any food. That always goes well for us. But I have a full glass and they're just calling for boarding, so it's time to go. When we wake the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right Okay, so we made it back to Belize City and we just need to pick up our luggage and head to our hotel that we weren't even supposed to be going to. We got an email last night, like last night, gave us like a 10 hour basically heads up that our flight today to Guatemala City was canceled. And so I got on the phone with them, obviously, and they were just like, nope, the flight canceled, doesn't exist anymore. There are no other options. That's the only flight of the day. So you have to go on Sunday. So luckily Tag Airlines is paying for our hotel tonight, which is nice of them. And uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Like that's why we travel on Saturdays mostly. And we will just get to Guatemala tomorrow. Okay, so we just found our best Western pickup here and we're, we've got a, like a 30 minute drive to Belize City. And we're here. 
here, but obviously it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning, so I don't think we're gonna be able to like check into our room yet, so we'll see. This is fine. It smells a little musty, but you know, we're in the tropics. Hopefully the AC will just help clear that out, but we've got a nice king size bed. That's all we really could ask for. You know, we're just here for a night, so. Let's put my head. Now I just need to find food, I suppose. It's always our mission in life, I feel like. So we're really lucky that they were able to take us and it's only 9.45, so we were able to check into our room, but they have a nice looking little restaurant here, so I think we're just gonna get like some breakfast and coffee and stuff before we like venture out out to find lunch or dinner or whatever. Everything is pretty much eggs and bacon here. Clearly a very Americanized breakfast we have. Um, so we're just gonna do some sides, like maybe fried racks, some refried beans and hash browns. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Got some tea coming. So fried jacks are a traditional dish here in Belize, and a lot of times you can stuff them with like beans. A lot of times you'll find stuff with meat and cheese, but I went beans and hash browns in mine, a little hot sauce, to a delicious little sandwich. We ready to try this again? We finally get to go to Guatemala. Today's the day, our 11th country. Let's go. to the airport and we're checking in and we only need to show our COVID vaccine to enter. We didn't need to get a test this time, which was great. And now we need to figure out how to get our drone back. We're excited to be reunited with our drone after six weeks. So hopefully that process goes really smoothly. Yeah, everything all worked out. Just packing her away. We still haven't used the drone. We picked it up while we were back in the States came to Belize, well we went to Roatan, we just never flew it. Came to Belize and you know, can't have them here, so looking forward to flying it in Guatemala for the first time. When we came through this airport two weeks ago to fly to the islands, it was packed. There were people everywhere, there was like no empty seats. Today there's not a single person in this whole lounge area. It's kind of creepy actually. We've made it with beer breakfast as always on a travel day <laughs> to be fair we did have some toast this morning so we're not going completely blind on an empty stomach but unlike what we got to what we missed last time when we had to run out of here um, there is like a Mediterranean wrap at a little restaurant here so we're definitely gonna try to take advantage of that before we get on our flight which leaves uh, we probably boarded like an hour and a half so we got some time all right, we're getting out and we're heading out to board our plane right now. Don't know what kind of plane we're getting on. It's not a tiny plane, but it's not a huge plane. So it's like a little bit of a, a medium plane, like maybe 30 feet. Yeah. And it's hot, it's so hot. Think hot, honestly, like travel tip number one, get a freaking travel fan. I can't breathe. <laughs> right there. We made it to our 11th country of Guatemala. It's so much cooler. It's actually raining right now pretty good. I don't and, know uh, where we're going. Right. It's raining, there's thunder, it's cold. Uh oh, we went the wrong way. No, we didn't. <laughs> so excited. We've located our driver and now we're heading to the vehicle. I'm about to run into a pole. And we are going to make our drive to Antigua. About an hour, hour and a half, and we should be at our Airbnb. So it's 
crazy to like see be in such a big city because we've been kind of like out in the sticks for the last like two and a half months and everything is so like commercialized it's like pizza hut mcdonald's taco bell panda express everywhere carl's jr pizza hut, <laughs> pizza hut like it's kind of crazy it's a little bit of a culture shock for us it's kind of funny <laughs> We just drove down like the cutest little street. It reminds us a little bit of Granada. It's got colonial vibes. We walk into this living room space. Yeah, then we walk in and we got this like little seating area. Oh, there we go. This is nice. Yeah. Is this our courtyard? Yeah. Holy smokes. This does give me like Nicaragua Granada yeah. vibes. This little patio. Yeah. What's this? I think it's inside bathroom. Oh, we got a little powder room. Yeah. And then through this door comes. Oh, it's gonna hit. No, it's not. This really nice kitchen. Ooh. Wow, this was Spanish fancy. And this connects back through to the other. Here, this little bedroom. What is it? Okay, so there's one bedroom. Yeah, nice little just queen size bed. Little dresser. Attached bathroom with full shower. And then there's two mystery doors here at the end. Oh, here's the laundry. Okay. Here's the second bedroom. Oh, this is probably the master. It looks a little bit bigger. Yeah. All right. I was about to say, you know what I don't see is air conditioning or fans. Duh. Yeah. It's not hot here. It's only like 75, about 22-ish degrees right now. And it's rainy and it's nice and cool. And then our bathroom. I haven't been cold or put on a sweater or worn a jacket in two years. Two friggin' years we've been in the death heat. And I can't wait to spend six weeks here in like the perfect temperature. 74 degrees is the perfect temperature. Yeah. Saying highs of 74 here, so. All right, it's time for us to say goodbye to you because we're tired, we have to unpack, we have laundry to do. Gotta put groceries away. We had to buy groceries, so. Um, you should definitely hit subscribe because we have really awesome things coming up here in Guatemala. We're going to Tikal, we're going to Lake Atitlan, and Aaron's personal, most favorite exciting thing we're doing. We are going to stay at a Hobbit Hotel. Hobbiton, Hobbitonongo. We're going to the Hava Hotel. So hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. This is the balsamic. 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 This is the balsamic. Get a couple beers in me. Woo, watch out. This is the balsamic Mediterranean veggie hummus wrap. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Hot, hot. Ooh, no, too hot. I need a minute. There's a cucaracha on the floor. Blah. It's dead. Aaron's scared of the cucaracha. I'm not scared of them, I just hate them. It's terrified. I farted. Come on! <laughs> you just said you farted and yeah. then yell at me for it. But you're not allowed to also <laughs> fart. Pew, God, you stink. <laughs>